Last November, Sangharachita was a guest of Windhorse Publications in order to help them dedicate their new premises. We've asked Banti to come and dedicate our premises really to mark the establishment of these new premises. Uh, although we have been here since last year, the Birmingham Buddhist Centre itself has been something of a building site and we felt it was probably best to wait until that had cleared up before inviting people round. Um, now we feel that things have settled down a bit, we're, we're well established here and it seemed um, particularly appropriate to mark that. We dedicate this place we dedicate this place to the three jewels to the three jewels to the Buddha to the Buddha the ideal of enlightenment to which we aspire the ideal of enlightenment to which we aspire to the Dharma to the Dharma the path of the teaching the path of the teaching which we follow which we follow to the Sangha, to the Sangha, the spiritual fellowship with one another, the spiritual fellowship with one another, which we enjoy, which we enjoy. Here may no idle word be spoken. Here may no idle word be spoken. The main aim of Windhorse Publications is to spread the Dharma. That's what we're set up to do. We, we try and do that in different ways. Uh, we publish books, obviously, but it's also part of our work to spread the Dharma through our example, through our interaction with people, um, and obviously as a, as a practicing ground for ourselves. Om Arapachanadi Om Arapachanadi I think there are three areas in which Wintour's Publications contributes to the FWBO. The first and perhaps most important is that we are providing a record of Bantis teaching for, for the FWBO, for posterity if you like. Also we're providing books to back up the work of FWBO centres around the world. Uh, not everything can be taught in classes perhaps. It's, it's nice to be able to refer to people to the sources, to other books. And the third area is, is where we're able to project the Dharma beyond FWBO centres. We're able to sell our books in, in towns, in countries even, where there are, as yet, no FWBO centres. There's clearly a growing interest uh, in the general market for books on, on Buddhism and meditation particularly. As a small publisher, we're struggling against the, the more established interests who are also finding that there, there is a market for books on Buddhism and meditation, and they're, they're moving in. Having said that, people do clearly appreciate our books and are buying our books. They're buying more of our books than ever before. Uh, I think last year our sales were something like three times the level they were five years ago. So we're, we're clearly doing something right. Now it's my Bante has obviously a very strong connection with Windhorse Publications. He's probably our, our, uh, our keenest supporter, if you like. So it, it seemed an obvious step to ask Bante to come and uh, help us to dedicate the premises and to an extent to, to help us to rededicate ourselves to our task. So yes, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very happy with what Windhorse has been, been doing. It means it does mean a lot to me. Another thing that Windhorse Publications means to me is that it's a, it's team based right livelihood. There are many Buddhist publishers in the world, especially in the Western world, eh? but I don't think that many of them. Uh, could be described as team-based right livelihood businesses. Eh? I, I think Dharma Publishing, eh, with whom we had very close connections and whom I visited several times uh, in, uh, in San Francisco, uh, can be described as such. But I really wonder you know, how many other uh, firms that are publishing Buddhist books can be described in that way. Um, Many of them, I'm sure, 
are just, as it were, getting in on the market. Well, we're not doing that in any commercial way. Uh, we are just trying to communicate the, the, the Dharma for the sake of communicating the Dharma because we realize that there are so many people out there who do read books and who are interested in the spiritual life and in, in Buddhism whom our publications could help. So I really rejoice in the fact that Windows Publications is not just a successful publication business but that it is a team-based right livelihood business.